we are going to be moving on from Luke Crown once we get the mad, uh, not mad, once we get NCAA 25. So if you want to be a head coach for the LT Jazz, submit your uh, resumes down below in the comment section. If you want to be the head coach for the upcoming Team Builder Dynasty, um, because Luke Crown is out. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. We're here on NCAA Next 24. But today marks 14 days that remain before NCAA makes its return with the new game coming up, the College Football 25, made by EA Sports. We all know it. We are all excited. It looks phenomenal. Um, it has by far exceeded my expectations for the build-up. For everything that they're saying, from the way the game looks to the details of Dynasty, I think they've just hit the mark on every single aspect. Uh, aspect of for my personal, um, you know, expectations. And I am just counting down the days. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. Uh, it is 14 days uh, from me recording this, though. It may be earlier than that, or, you know, less time, you know, until the game comes out when you're watching this, but, um, I, I've never been more excited for a football game. I do think that this could be the best football game, uh, we've ever received, at least on the college level, right? Um, I'm so excited for it, and that leads me to this next part, um, the NCAA 24 series that we were doing is going to be coming to an end, okay? But we're going to go through one offseason, this this final offseason. This is going to be our last chance right here, right now, to add some talent to this program before NCAA 25. So the goal here today in this episode is to do exactly that, add as much talent as we can and get ourselves prepared for NCAA 25 and get the LT Jazz as ready as we can get them. Alright, so we are on a list of interested prospects here, right? This is our final offseason we're going to do in this uh, series, but every player that we get from here is going to be starting, um, you know, for us in the NCAA 25 so kind of look at this series as a a build up to the ultimate series the main series this is like a mini series of the LT Jazz kind of working its way up to the main series so we're gonna have some background um, on our players right and that's gonna be something that's unique to our team builder dynasty that other channels may not have a little bit of history of the build up of the team and so this is our final little chance here before we... So, let's try to go out with a bang, guys. Let's try to, uh, you know, get some type of, you know, game-changer player. Um, Vince Cleveland here. Uh, you know... Oh, wow, there looks like to be a glitch with my points. It says 19,000 points remaining. That's in the negative, so I don't really know what that means. Alrighty, guys, so I re um, just shut down the whole uh, emulator and reloaded it up. And so we are here <clears throat> at the players leaving uh, picture. We're going to see together if it works. It actually looks like it's working better. Like the screen isn't shaking and whatnot, so we'll see. Um, this is bad though. Transfer portal for Sam Zoon. This is a guy that we just got on the team. He's a 76 overall tight end. We cannot lose this guy, but we're going to. That sucks, guys. Oh my goodness, that sucks. I don't get an option to try and sway him back. He he wants to, he, to go play elsewhere. A 76 overall tight end is leaving, guys. That that may not be big for other schools. That's huge for us. That's huge. 
that's that's gonna hurt us in a bad way very 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 bad um i can't believe that a freshman leaving after redshirting once like and i don't get a chance to say that that's kind of upsetting me a little bit you know i'm not i remember i was so hyped about him and uh yeah he said he doesn't want to play for us so you know man that's that, that stings so we're going to let it do this thing. This thing, this takes a, a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it for you guys. So I'll see you in the recruiting phase. Let's see if it, if we have points to spend or if it's glitched out. Uh, blue chip transfer. Oh, wow. Um, Wait, Arch Manning. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Arch Manning. Oh, wow. That, that's kind of interesting. Isn't that funny? Wait, is he interested in coming here? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, but um, he, he is on the move. Now, we have 203 points. Okay, so it is working. Um, I want to look at interested prospects. Okay, so here we are, guys. We are in the legit. All right, we got it to work. We lost a damn tight end. That's, oh, that stings so bad. And um, going into this, we're in need of wide receiver, tackle, center. Team the linebacker corner. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, we do want to try, and I mean, we don't have a lot of talent that's really interested, but we want to we want to start snagging some of these three star guys. Uh, this is a transfer, so he, he it says he's a freshman though, so he must have got red shirted, so he'd have to play going into year one. But looks like he's going to Clemson. We could try to battle for him, but. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Michael Jones looks very interesting. We could definitely try to battle for him. Shannon Swinson. That might be an uphill battle. Then another three-star, the Ryan Gillum. We could try and get 6'5". One, a damn, he's a tall. He would be a tall corner. Uh, we'll see. Maybe even put him at wide receiver if he has hands like it says he does. Uh, and I do believe, yeah, we need wide receivers. So, but we also need corners. So I'm gonna try, guys, and just do the best that I can. Uh, we do, again, we don't have many guys wanting us, or excuse me, wanting to come here that are very highly ranked. And we're gonna summarize everybody that we get at the end. But we do have some commits already, I do believe. Uh, First, we could look at our returning players. We're going to do all this at the end, though. Um, all prospects. That's fine. Okay. We'll take a look at our class after we're done. Though, I do think we have... We come down here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we have... Oh, my goodness. I forgot. Because it's been a minute since I played. But we have... Uh, Israel Baker, a four-star, uh, strong safety caliber player, and Tyreek Dubris coming in. So the safeties, we are looking kind of, they have fully committed to us. We don't know their stats and stuff, which I'm going to need to know because I'm, I'm, when I import these players into the team builder for NCAA 25, it's going to be to the T. Like, so I'm going to make sure Israel Baker is 6'3", 178. I'm going to make sure Tyreek Dubri is 6'3", 213, and I'm going to make sure all their stats are like what they are here. So, um, we do have a, a two-star Dane Foreman. Oh, yes. I remember because we, you know, we were doing good. I finally figured out the, uh, the, uh, the way that works. Now, let's make it better, though. Let's make it better. So, that safety, I don't think I'm going to go for. I, I want to try... To see if we can get this outside linebacker, I think. So it's not a need. Maybe Ryan Gillum. We could scout him. Let's scout him real quick. Just for three points. You know what, man? I'm I'm thinking this guy is a wide receiver. I really am. I am thinking he's a wide receiver. 
Let's 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 go. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. We're gonna send the house. We gotta figure out his um what he likes. We're gonna try and talk to him about academics since that's what we're good at here. Okay. Um that might be the only three star guy we go for. We could try and battle get with Michigan, but I mean they just they're coming off of a dominating um conference championship, I'm pretty sure. Or yeah, not conference championship, national championship. So uh, you know, we already have a couple four stars. So let's really try and lock in on getting depth here. Okay, wait. We can still try to get Sam Zoon. Do we want him though? Right? He left us. Do we want him? Feel like he kind of did us dirty. We know he's a really good player, but he did leave us behind. You know, if he wants to leave, I think let's let him leave. You know? That might be my pride stepping in, but we'll see. Um, Morvin Thornton, he would be a sophomore coming over. We might be able to get him. Two-star corner. We definitely, I don't understand how we don't need corners. When we only have two, uh, we could definitely use guards. Any any O line we could always use. So let's um. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are. I did all of the off season and all of the crucial <laughs> decisions, and um, you know. It, it was a it was a decent <laughs> recruiting season. I think I think it was okay. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. Now, guys, this is very important. So first off, the schedule. We're not gonna look at this at all because I'm not setting the schedule on this game. We're gonna do that when we get NCAA 25. I'm also not gonna redshirt or do anything like that just in case I have to do that on NCAA uh, 25. So. Simply, all we are going to look at is our program and who has made the official roster. And guys, did, did, so the question is, did we make the program better uh, in our four years uh, here on NCAA Next? I don't know. But um, we're here nonetheless. So let's just go ahead and review the roster so going into NCAA 25 we will have Casey Anderson he grew to an 80 overall he is a senior then behind him sophomore Aaron Waring and then behind him Darda Morris who is a sophomore as well this is actually our strong suit on the team, believe it or not. That's that's an AD overall quarterback, but he is slow, dude. He's not going to be able to leave the pocket much. Acceleration's really slow. All of these stats are going to be the same, and I'm going to bring them over from this game as close as I possibly can. Hopefully, the team builder will let me copy it um, attribute for attribute, but the players are going to be there for sure. AD overall quarterback um, I want to say that's better than what we started with but yeah he is a senior so we'll only have him for that one year and none of these guys are gonna be able to be red shirts so that's the big a big problem there so quarterback will be something we have to address right away running back we have a 76 overall running back in Destin Hill positive is he is the fastest that you can get he is a speed a speed guy all right um, like Tyreek Hill type of speed Destin Hill maybe this is his nephew or whatever I don't know but he's got 99 speed and 91 acceleration so though he's a, a low overall maybe we can get something done with him behind him Jordan Cummings and Noah Emery the running back room doesn't look that strong uh, 
we got two fullbacks. We got Adam Smith Sr. and Rylan Green. Adam Smith is actually the highest overall on the team at 85. So there you go. Uh, definitely be getting them the ball on, you know, short down situations. Morris Johnson is now a senior and our highest wide receiver. This has got me kind of scared to go play NCAA 25 because we're only going to have a 78 overall and a 74 overall wide receiver to throw to in Morris Johnson and Trayvon DeRame. Then it drops off pretty big there at Bo Sterling and Randy Jones and then Melquan Hampton. <laughs> oh man, this, this is going to be rough guys. But this is going to be the roster for the LC Jazz going into year number one for the NCAA 25. Uh, at tight end, we ended up just biting the bullet, you know, putting our pride aside and re-getting Sam Zoon back on the team. Uh, he is going to be our number one tight end, true freshman, uh, 76 overall. Uh, I guess technically, would he be a true freshman? I don't think he's a true freshman, but anyways... Our tight end room looks pretty good um, for, a, you know, being a lower school like we are. Uh, for the tackles, uh, it's bad. Our O-line is the worst situation in the whole team. And the trenches are going to be just tremendous. Uh, you're at the beginning of the series, uh, 70 overall, 68 overall, and it drops just, I don't even want to think about it. Uh, the guards... Are pretty in a bad way as well uh, 82 right guard Jeff Hill he's a senior though and we are gonna have to try and replace them pretty fiercefully in the series uh, our center is a 70 overall now moving over to the other side of the trenches this is actually where okay we have a little bit of of some hope okay our defensive ends are both very good right we got Bobby Blackwell and I Isaiah McLennan, which we both that we got last season, right? They're sophomores, both 82 overall. And then we got Jeremy Griffin, the senior 76. We'll try and rotate him in as, as you know when we can. And then two uh, a freshman who's already been redshirted though, 65 overall, and young 65 overall. Then in the middle we got Tyshawn Greer Gear. So we. I'm gonna take a step back here. We had Spears here, so 70 overall there. So at least it's better in the trenches. Uh, maybe we play uh, McLennan in the DT spot since he is 304. He would definitely fit in DT a little more. So Tyshawn Gear, uh, maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we do there. But the, nonetheless, our, at least the trenches are a little bit better. Uh, at the outside linebacker, an impact player to watch out for, Jason Reynolds, the senior, 76 overall. Then left outside linebacker, Michael Jones. He's a freshman, true freshman here. Our linebacking core doesn't seem too bad. We have at least a little bit to work with here. Middle linebacker, Chris Bradford, senior. And then Tom Robertson. So, Dane Foreman, true freshman here. There you go. At corner, we got Danny Abraham. This mute who hasn't really grown much. <laughs> oh no, guys. I'm so worried. This is the team. We did not do good. I almost feel like we should keep going. And uh, But, you know, I, I, I'm nervous. I, Chris Lewis, and then we did get Tariq Dubri this offseason. He's actually a five-star recruit, if I can remember. So this is actually going to be pretty good. And then strong safety. Or no, Israel Baker was the five-star. He is a four-star. Israel Baker is a five-star. Fr true freshman, 74 overall. He's going to be the future of the defense, I, I can just tell. And then behind him is Cam Morton. Uh, and then our kicker is Pat Polk. Our punter is just a walk-on guy. No one even knows his name. Trevor Hudson. It's not good. 48 overall. <laughs> there is the team, guys. This is the team that we will be taking in to our NCAA 25 team builder dynasty. Um, I am not proud of the, re of the four year window we had here, 
you know, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. We finished 17 and 19 in the four year run. And I do think it's best if Luke Crown gets, he's, he gets let go. We are going to be moving on from Luke Crown once we get the mad, uh, not mad, once we get NCAA 25. So if you want to be a head coach for the LT Jazz, submit your uh, resumes down below in the comment section. If you want to be the head coach for the upcoming Team Builder Dynasty, um, because Luke Crown is out, okay? He's gone. He's out of here. Going into it, though, I'm, you know, I'm going to make sure that our team prestige is a two star and I'm going to try and really mimic exactly the uh, everything I can as closely as I possibly can. So, yeah, uh, Luke Crown is out of LC Jazz. I don't know who the new head coach will be. Um, submit. Your name in the comment section maybe you will be a head coach the next head coach for the lt jazz because yeah i don't know where we're going from here but that's gonna be it for this guys the next time you'll be seeing me i'll be uh, getting the ncaa 25 dynasty underway so i know i'm so pumped for this new game i know everybody is so I hope to see you guys there when it does come out. I appreciate you for sticking around and watching, and see you on the next one. Peace.